Om Swastiastu. Hi everyone, we are from Small Group Education, B10. Today we will present it about our student project and the title of our student project is Clinical Use of Systemic Antifungal. So this is the members of Small Group Education, B10. We really hope through our presentation, we can increase our knowledge and be useful for the audience. Thank you. Hello, my name is Fiona Tania Santoso with last three digits name 249. Now, I will explain about the introduction chapter about clinical use of systemic antifungal. From the background, fungi are multicellular organisms that live in soil, plant material, or on the surface, and can cause disease. They infect people's organ system, and the most frequent infection is pulmonary fungal infection, or PFI. This PFI can be acquired along with an already existing pulmonary infections, and one of the examples is tuberculosis, or TB, which is a pulmonary disease that caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis. From a study during 2007 until 2017, amongst the 130 TB patients, 16 of them had co-infections of TB with fungi, such as Candida albicans and Aspergillus formigetes. The result of that study indicated that tuberculosis can be one of the risk factors that leads to fungal infections. And Indonesia, as a tropical country with a humid environment, which is a favorite place for fungi to grow, has been the second highest TB burden in the world after India, based on World Health Organization Global TB Report in 2020. This correlation between co-infection of fungi microorganisms and pulmonary tuberculosis should be our concern nowadays. And what does the solution of that concern? Antifungal agents can be an answer of that question. Systemic antifungal drugs can reduce the number of infections due to fungi and are very useful in the treatment of patients with fungal infections. And from that background, we identify six problems in order to understand the definition of systemic antifungal, the classification of systemic antifungal, the mechanism of systemic antifungal, the application of clinical use of systemic antifungal, the advantages and disadvantages of systemic antifungal, and lastly, the development and future directions of systemic antifungal. So after this presentation, we will certainly be able to know more details about systemic antifungal and also increase the knowledge about clinical use of systemic antifungal. That's all from the introduction chapter. The next chapter will be explained by my friends. Thank you. My name is Frisal Wijaya with the last three digit name 236 and I will explain what is the definition of systemic antifungal. So in the first point, I will explain some short story of what is antifungal drugs. So increased primary or secondary resistance to some antifungal drugs has led to the search for alternatives such as drug recommendations and the development of new antifungal drugs. So we can see that some disease are resistant to some antifungal drugs. So that led us to search for alternatives and the development of new antifungal drugs. But what is antifungal drugs? So in the second point, systemic antifungal drugs are drugs that selectively destroy fungal pathogens with minimal side effects on the host. Despite the increased prevalence of fungal infections, especially in immunocompromised patients, the class of antifungal agents available for treatment is negligible and has limited efficacy in the treatment of life-threatening infections. So that's all for me. And the next slide will be explained by my friend. Thank you. My name is Hidayu Kralika Redinjana with the last three digit number 246. And today I will be explaining about the classification of systemic antifungals. The systemic antifungals are divided by four classes, namely arcalians, elomines, echinocandins, and azoles. Collins induce the physical change in the membrane by binding to sterile components in the phospholipid sterile membrane of some fungal cells. And the channels in the fungal cell membrane are formed by the long polyene structure. 
and alanines is a non-competitive inhibitors in the squalene epoxidase. Alanines will produce ergosterol deficiency, which is fungi static, but fungal membrane function and wall synthesis will be disturbed simultaneously by the accumulation of intracellular squalene, and also the synthesis of cell walls are fungicidal. I think that's all I have to say, and the next explanation will be carried by my friend. My name is Chokode Istriagunam Skoti, and my name is 210251252. Number 3. Echinocanins. Echinocanins is a non competitive inhibitor of 1,3 beta D glucan synthase that will make the fungal cell withered and lysis. There are several adverse effects may occur, such as facial pressing, swelling, rust, pruditus, and weaver. Number 4. Azoles. There are two classification groups of azole antifungals, namely iminazole and triazole antifungals, where what distinguishes these two groups is the amount of nitrogen in the five-membered ring. The use of imidazoles is limited to the treatment of superficial mycosis. On the other hand, triazoles have wide application in the treatment of both superficial and IVA. Hi, my name is Gayatri, with your last digits name 235. Now we're gonna be talking about the mechanism of systemic antifungal. Since the compound of the classification antifungal it works differently, so there's total four mechanisms of action. First, there's gonna be pollen macrolides. It is an uncommon mechanism which we will find out later because this happens because this class doesn't need a specific enzyme. Instead, it's interacted with molecule called ergosterol. It's gonna change the formation of ionic pores and change its permeability of fungi wall. The second, it's gonna be the azole. The azole are working specifically to cytop p 450 erg 11 p which is going to be catalyzed or exudative of the target fungus. But this type of antifungal only slowing the growth of fungi, not killing the fungi. Okay, that's the two of classification. The two other will explain by my friend. Thank you very much. Hi everyone, my name is Anna Agung Istriarian Deni, and my last rigid name is 233. Now, I will continue the explanation for my friends about mechanism of systemic antifungal. The allylamines. The action of allylamines is to inhibit the synthesis of ergosterol by interfering with another important enzyme, squalene exposidase, and its action is very similar to azoles, which will inhibit the synthesis of ergosterol. Ergosterol deficiency causes an accumulation that will lead to death of the fungus. And next is the kinocandins. The kinocandins has a more unique mechanism than the other class since it has no association with ergosterol like others do. Mechanism of this class, as a result, make the cell more thin than before, causing the cell wall to have an osmotic imbalance that will lead to the cell death. The usage of this antifungal must be used in high dose in order to function optimally. So that's all about mechanism of systemic antifungal, and for the next explanation, we'll be explained by my friend. Thank you! My name is Putu Adisi Setla Sujana, with three last digit name is 241. I will be continuing the explanations about applications or clinical use of systemic antifungal. These drugs are used to prevent and treat the fungal infections in immune-compromised or competent people. These are currently the available applications of antifungal agents and their target disease. The first one we have AMBD is used to treat life-threatening fungal infections, aspergillosis, cryptococcus, blastomycosis, systemic candidiasis. Next one we have LAMB is used to treat visceral blastomaniasis and systemic spirogosis, candidiasis, and cryptococcus. Next we have ABLC is used to treat invasive mycosis. Next, we have Nistatin, which is an oral swish and swallow drug it's used to treat cutaneous and mucosal infection caused by Candida. And next one, we have Ketonazole, it's used to treat Tedia and cutaneous Candidiasis, Soborheic Dermatitis. And lastly, for me, is Intraconazole, used to treat Aspergillosis, Orofungal or Esophungal Candidiasis, and Fungal Nail Disease in Humano-Competent Patient. Okay, hello. Uh, my name is Sibutu Diva Purlana Arta with name number 210251123. So I'll continue the presentation from my friend about the application or clinical use of the systematic antifungal. 
So the first one is the fluconazole. Uh, so fluconazole is used for the treatments of the esophagus, oropharynx, peritoneum, efferens, and vaginal candidiasis. And then there is a fariconazole. Fariconazole, approved for the indications in patients with non-neutropenia, esophageal candidiasis, disseminated candidiasis, invasive aspergillosis, and candidiasis. And there is terbinafine. So the topical terbinafine is approved for the treatment of tinea corporis. Tinea corporis. And there is um, micafungin. So micafungin is used for the prevention of candidiasis in intravenous administration and in the treatment of esophag esophageal candidiasis. And the last one is grisofulfin. In particular, uh, grisofulfin is a uh, Grisofulfin deals with tinea corporis, then, uh, which is pedis, crulis, uh, barbi, and splenius capitis. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you. Hello, my name is Margaret Jacinta Tali Pantoro, and my last three digit number is 248. And now I'll explain to you the advantage of the medication uh, systemic uh, fungal infection working in two types. Um, so type number one is Folivian uh, macrolides, uh, which uh, such as uh, amphotericin B has a rapid fungal actions, a broad range of activity, and a low potential for resistant fungal infections. Act with interacting with eicosterol and promote cellular ion leakage. And the second type is various uh, soul drifts, um, such as fluconazole works by suppressing the cytochrome P450 dependent protein. Uh, lanosterol 14 alpha demethylase cause significant damage to the membrane. And the third type is allylamine, such as terpinephine, operates by blocking the glucotransferase and some 15D glucan synthase, and an important component that preserve the integrity of fungal cell wall, which result in osmotic instability and cell death. And the uh, four types is glisofuldin, which hinder cell mitosis and nuclear acid production by attaching to alpha and beta tubulin, which inhibit the function of spindle and cytoplasmic mitochondrial tubule. And the last type is flucytosin, which is a fungus uh, thymidylate uh, synthesis suppressor, which inhibit purine and pyrimidine absorption, and both the uh, DNA and RNA uh, synthesis as a result of unequal development. Thank you. My name is Ariela Teresa Jo with last three digit limb 247. Now I will explain about this advantage of clinical use of systemic antifungal. Giving antifungal from chemicals is usually done to treat fungal infections, but the use of antifungal drugs made from these chemicals has several disadvantages. It is also often cause several problems, such as side effects. For example, Amphotericin B has a side effect of kidney damage or nephrotoxic. Next is resistance. Research in Ilam Iran by Mohammadi et al. showed that 150 isolates of Candida albicans were resistant to synthetic antifungal, such as fluconazole, ditroconazole, ketoconazole, which is most often used antifungal, and many others. Then, difficult usage, rules, and the need for doctor supervision, also existing antifungal drugs circulating in the community are often very toxic, and only a few are available without a prescription. And in addition, antifungal drugs are very expensive, so they are not affordable by the public, and the quality is not optimal for curing fungal infections. For example, ketoconazole is sold for 240 to 1000 rupiah for 200 grams. Those of 10 times 10 tablets. So, from all that is above, we may notice that some synthetic antifungals are no longer effective. And also, in connection with the above problems, it is necessary to look for more effective and inexpensive antifungal agents. Studies of plant resistance to disease have encouraged the discovery of antifungal compounds from plants. So, I guess that's all from me. The next explanation will be presented by my friend. Thank you. Hello, my name is Pandi Putu Karina Chandra and my last three digit name are 240. 
and now I will present about new development and future direction. Emerging Fungal Pathogen Limited Antifungal Drug Libraries and the development of resistance to available antifungal drug have increased the demand for the development of new and effective antifungal drugs. Therefore, it is necessary to strengthen the current antifungal drug discovery work to develop clinically more effective and safer drugs, especially for antifungal drug resistant pathogens. In the past few years, several methods of discovering new solutions have been developed. The example of new antifungal drug is Nicomycin Z. The drug is under development as an orphan product for the treatment of copidioidomycosis. VT1161 and VT1129, this chemical is currently being tested in the lab for the treatment of cryptococcal meningitis, and some other examples that can be seen in the following slide. Thank you. Hello, my name is Gusti Agung Ayu, Adinda Fidila Tresna Putri, with my last three digits name are 2, 3, and 2. And today I'm going to explain about the summary of clinical use of systemic antifungal. So systemic antifungal drugs can reduce the number of infections due to fungi and also can be used as a prevention of fungal infections in people who have weak immune systems with minimal side effects on the host. Antifungals are pharmacologically diverse drugs that act like antibiotics. Systemic antifungal means that the therapy relies on fungi attacking internal organs. Systemic antifungals are divided into four classes which are polyens, alilamins, echinocondins, and azoles. The use of antifungal drugs made from chemicals has several drawbacks besides being expensive, it also often causes several problems such as side effects and difficult usage rules. Postfungal interaction plays an important part in the survival of all fungal pathogens and new therapies can also be provided for this interaction. And I think that's all about our presentation. I apologize if there are any mistake in our presentation and we will close this presentation with Paramasanti. Om Santi 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 Om.